most of you are failing with women before you even approach her or even open your mouth. Today, I'm gonna show you these seven high value traits women notice first. Now, these traits are rare. This is what makes them desirable. Most men do not have them, and I'm gonna show you how to easily implement them in your life, which if you implement all seven, you're now part of the top 1% of the world. Number one, I need you to weigh 200 pounds. Okay, <laughs> all right, you don't have to weigh 200 pounds, but you do need to put on some muscle mass. All else equal, these researchers found that women look more at men that look formidable. In other words, they're strong and able to impose physical costs. Now the study went even deeper and then rated which muscle groups women found the most attractive. And here are the top five in order, starting with number one, obliques. Now an easy way to target obliques at home, do something called the Russian twist. The second one were glutes, which again, you could target this at home for free doing some air squats and lunges. The third one were your abs. Again, an easy one that you can target for free at home with no weight. I would do something like planks and sit-ups. Number four, it's your biceps. And a good workout obviously is your bicep curl, but a trick is find a wall. This will eliminate the swinging so you concentrate on your biceps. And finally, the fifth one are your shoulders. They want that wide top frame and narrow waist. And to get that, do some military presses or dumbbell press. Number two, you gotta become six feet tall. All right, again, I, I keep messing with you guys. You don't have to be exactly six feet tall, but this specific study did find that you need to be at least eight inches taller than your girl, or at least that is their preference. That same study found that this is not just a random number. Taller men on average are seen as more masculine, more well-adjusted, more successful, and these are qualities that they're looking for. Now this whole eight inch thing is great because you can actually deploy. You can't become six feet tall, but you can force being eight inches taller than your partner. You do this in three steps. Steps. One, you want to pick a partner that's at least five inches shorter than you. The next thing is you have to stand taller. You have to understand that most of you are robbing yourself from at least one to two inches just from having bad body posture. So just rolling your shoulders back and making sure your head's always straight up and never looking down can give you that extra inch, which finally, pick the right footwear. Something as simple as just using Air Force Ones versus Converse can give you that extra inch, which in total gives you about seven to eight inches over your partner. Three, they want you to dress well. This is key. A specific study found that 83% of men have trouble knowing how to get dressed and what to put on. Don't make the mistake that they're doing of focusing of what's in style. Instead, as a guy, you should really redirect your energy and look for basics that are comfortable to wear on a daily basis and flatter your body. I'll give you an example with my brand essentials. We're dropping a new collection. These pants that you see here, while they look formal, are made from a sweat pant fabric. Again, we're combining comfort with functionality, that basic that everyone can wear, and now you have something comfortable you can wear daily. But this whole dressing well goes even even further. This specific study from Princeton found that those that dress better look richer and therefore more competent. And just think about it for a second. How many videos have you seen of women talking about that their desired style for men is that old money aesthetic? That symbol of status, of wealth, makes you look competent. Which talking about that, one of the new pants that we're dropping is a performance fabric with side tab adjusters. This gives you that old money look with a fabric that's movable in multiple directions that makes it comfortable to wear in style any day. We have a similar design that recently dropped. It's actually sold out right now. So this one's dropping in our new collection. Plus, we're also dropping a loose fit, almost lightweight button down dress shirt, which is another one of those old money staples, which for summer, you're probably gonna be wearing on rotation. The point is, both of these give you that versatile money look that can elevate, or at least visually elevate, your status. And here's where clothing really takes it to the next level. There was a specific study where they grabbed a group of women and then they just flashed images of 50 men so fast that you couldn't even recognize their face. All the brain could quickly register was a resemblance of what their outfit was. And what they realized is those that dressed better in those images were rated as more attractive than those that dressed worse. And this is important because remember, it takes a tenth of a second to form a judgment. It is that quick. So women most of the time won't be looking at your face, but more so your overall package, which takes a tenth of a second. This is exactly why you don't want to miss our Essentials launch date, June 24th at 10 a.m. Eastern. Every time we launch, our product sells out fast because my ultimate 
ultimate focus is designing premium basics. You do not have to be replacing like cheap brands and will make you look good and feel comfortable on a daily basis. If you guys want to check it out, you can sign up to our mailing list so you can be reminded. Look, we just made it through the first three traits which are purely physical. However, if you don't implement these next four I'm about to show you, you can't optimize the full capacity of the first three. All seven work in unison to make you a top 1% man. This takes us to number four. You have to be smart. I'm gonna take it a step further. According to science, if you want a hot girlfriend, you have to have a high IQ. This specific study followed the lives of 10 thousand couples and after 50 years of data they correlated that the prettier the woman was the smarter the man was which highlighted the preferences of these attractive women they were choosing men with high IQ so to become smarter in a short time frame there's only two things you can really do one you have to read more books your brain is a muscle Every time you read, you exercise it. But more importantly, you get to increase your life experiences without actually living those experiences every time you live a book. It's almost like a cheat code. The second thing you need to do is to work out. There are multiple studies that have proven that you being physically active increases the activity in the area of your brain called the hippocampus, which is responsible for neuron growth. Five, you need to make your hygiene great. Almost 60% of men have agreed that they have no idea what they're doing when it comes to their hygiene. Now, most women want men to smell clean, yet there are three problem areas you're probably ignoring if you're part of that 60%. The first one, being showering properly. When it comes to problem areas, and I'm talking about your armpit, your rear end, your feet, these are the areas that in the shower, you need to be scrubbing down every single day. Number two, always apply body lotion. As soon as you step out the shower, this will seal in hydration to keep your skin looking flawless, but more importantly, whenever you do apply a scent, it'll make the scent last longer so you smell better. And finally, number three, you have to floss daily a step that most men skip. But I don't only want you to floss your teeth, I then want you to use your floss on your tongue. See, most of your bad odor from your mouth comes from your tongue. So all that white stuff, you can scrape it off with the floss every single day. Number six, you have to be loyal. 25% of men report cheating on their partner. This number increases to 36% the more money you earn, usually above 350K a year. Being a loyal man is a high value trait. And to do this, you have to treat your relationship with the same level of discipline you treat everything else in your life. If you want to be high value, you are disciplined enough to go to the gym, to stop the pornography, to have great work ethic, to not be lazy, to have self-control. You have to apply that same mentality to be loyal. Finally, number seven, you have to earn a good living. It's no surprise. Women want you to earn more than them. And it's not really about the money. It's a reflection of your biology. Now here's where this stat becomes problematic. In 45% of the households, the woman earns as much, if not more than the man, while still doing all the caregiving and taking care of the house. At this point, the woman is doing everything and the man is useless. So you need to fix this. You need to enter your male imperative and become a high earner. And I've showed you this in detail in a video that I call how to get rich with a nine to five job. But let me summarize it here in three easy steps. One, you will get a second job and work 12 hour shifts daily. Two, you will take that excess cash and invest it in your business or in yourself to learn a high earner skill. And then three, you will quit your main job and scale this new idea. It's that simple. And if you want a more detailed explanation, you can watch this video.